Hi everybody, I'm Paolo from www.c4d.cz and welcome to this free tutorial. Nevertheless, it's not exactly a real tutorial, it's a, it's a short tip and you can take it as an invitation to another tutorial as well because I'm preparing a new advanced organic modeling tutorial based on using the hair module. So, let's say you need to render any spline I shall see you can imagine. Just take a look at the scene. It uses a particle emitted tracer object and it generates animated splines from emitted, partic emitted particles. Um, there is another animated most spline object and it renders in seconds. Almost real time as you can see, it's really very fast. The render speed is really amazing. However, let's try another scene I made. Uh, it's a simple real spline simulation like this. It uses the same technology as the last example we have seen. There is an em emitter and it generates particles. And uh, there is a tracer object that generates splines according to particle movement. And this tracer object is deformed by several diff simple deformers. Okay, I've rendered the scene. It works very well, as you can see. And it generates speculars called diffusion and shadows as well. So let's check it from below. Yes, we can see nice soft shadows and self shadows as, as well. It's really very important to know. Cinema 4D offers a very powerful splines rendering engine that's able to render not only splines, but it renders all other necessary effects like diffusion, shading, speculars and shadows, and that's not enough, they can be retraced as well. Splines can be rendered in reflections with area shadows and so on. You probably expecting that we will use the hair module, I guess. Let's start. Create a new scene and we will simulate the second example together. We will use the same approach we spoke about. Use the simulate menu and create a new particle emitter object, adjust its position rotation, adjust its size down, uh, I will change the type as well and increase the angle value a bit and let's test the animation we made. However, we need to make the animation a bit longer. Adjust the power slider size as well and so the emitter again and decrease the speed value. Okay and uh, increase the stop emission frame value. 400 would be perfect, I guess. Okay, what's next? So the image and go to the MoGraph menu and saw the trace object from the menu. I love this trick. I use it pretty often because it creates a really cool effect. Okay, and so the trace once more and press the shift key and create a new twist deformer. This deformer, it will be placed as a child of the trace and move it up a bit if you want and use the handle and, and activate it and set the object, use attributes manager settings and change the use mode here use unlimited mode, it will continuously twist your, your splines outside the deformer cage it's very nice however, we need add another deformer, make a new bulge deformer and place it as a second deformer ok, and move it up, adjust the strength value using the handle and change the mode to unlimited as well, that's all. We are ready for the spline rendering engine because they aren't rendered yet. So we need to find a setup that's able to render all of them, all these sequences. Before we start with the rendering setup I will bake my particles because it will speed up the editor feedback. So go to simulate menu, use particles and bake particles command. Okay? Um, Perfect. Let's start with the rendering setup. We need the studio bundle for the effect. Create a new hair material. Go to a material manager and choose the hair material from the menu and drag and drop and apply the material to the tracer object. This material can render any spline if you have seen. So we can use it uh, and open the material settings, go to a color channel and we can adjust splines color here. We can set it using this gradient, the root is on the left side, the tip on the right. I will use a bright green color for the root and bright yellow for the tip. Ok, so let's continue the thickness channel and we can adjust our spline thickness here as well. And the settings is almost the same as like before. So here is the root thickness and here is the tip. Use 2 or 3 instead of the default and reduce the tip, uh, the root, sorry, as well. We can control the thickness by the curve as well. However, it's not so important for now. You will see it in the comparative organic modeling tutorial later. And render the first shot of the use setup. Done. It works. 
we got an amazing result. We rendered our spline according to the hair material setup. The hair module can simulate all illumination passes like diffuse, specular and shadows as we said before. However, it's not enough. We can use a retrace mode and all splines will be rendered in the retrace effects like reflections as well. Other thing depends on the hair module settings. The settings is activated automatically after we edit the first hair material. The render mode is very important. We can use raster mode, the set of bits mode, it's better for post production process and so on. Uh, here's the shadows tab. We can generate retroized shadows as well. And here is the fully retroized mode. Simply the hair can be fully implemented into every scene you make. Add a new floor object and create a new default material and apply the material and let's create a new light object as well and I will use the simplest Omni light and I will activate the shadows settings here use soft shadows option it's a, a default hair shadow type and let's try the look of the setup it was here well as you can see it costs shadows so change the current camera and check it here Yes, it casts shadows and generates self shadows and res use shadows as well. I will adjust the thickness value a bit. Okay, yes, it looks better now. So the setup casts shadows, res use shadows, the tip is spread dark, and so on. Uh, let's say you need to show splines only. Rendered them as splines, little illumination, speculative shadows, and so on. All these tasks depends on the used hair material settings. So open the material settings here and go to the illuminate tab that's below, and it's uh, the tab uh, we are looking for. And as we said before, I would like to render my splines as true splines without any diffusion. So I need to turn off the diffusion effect. I will turn off the specular effect first and compare both states with and without speculars and go back to the illumination. And that is once more and try to reduce the diffuse influence. Is here, so reduce the size to zero. Yes. And this is once more. Diffuse turn it off, however, shadows are still there. We are able to turn off the diffuse itself as you have seen. We can play with shadow settings now because we are able to reduce the shadows level in the settings as well. So rotate the camera up a bit and reduce the shadow density slider. Adjust it more. Yes, it works on the floor as you can see. It controls shadow density generated by the hair splines object. It controls shadow coverage on other objects. We can adjust the Resist Shadow slider as well. It controls shadow covering cast by other objects on the hair object. And we can reduce the self shadow slider and turn off all self shadows with the settings. Okay, turn off the diffuse slider as well. And we got the fully flat color splines. The illumination tab settings is still very powerful. We can combine all these settings and sliders in many ways. And the setup supports all splines objects you can imagine. It has several limitations, however, these are not so important, I guess. Let's try another object. Use a MoGraph Mole Spline object. Move it up a bit. I will turn off the floor visibility for the moment. Okay, and select the spline and go to the Simply tap. Increase the sequence value here. Adjust the edge angle and increase the sub subdivision value for a nicer and more soft look and adjust the P and B angles as well and increase all these settings. Then and apply the hair material to the object. And test the result. Yes, it works perfectly. It works without problems. Let's try another parametric spline. Try text for example. Nevertheless it works uh, the same way as uh, before and apply the material and test it once more. I will type the text here, a self-promotion text, <laughs> of course, and apply the material. And yes, it works. That's all. Uh, we can adjust any spline we used by the hair material as well. 
it's very 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 important for me so open the hair material settings and we can adjust all these channels try to use king on first channel for example and play with these settings and these values a bit uh, we can uh, use the curve as well and test it it's absolutely different than before as you can see that's all as you can as we said before we can adjust any spline we used by the hair material it's very nice so we are at the end of the lesson thank you for watching stay tuned and see you at www.c4d.cz